What's going on guys, I'm Marty back at again with your weekly Rust Skins videos and today we've actually got a pretty nice looking store. Uh, so this is what it looks like from top to bottom on the top sellers page just so you guys can have a quick glance of what I'll be talking about later if I do say anything like that. So let's have a look at the limited store. Let's get started with the clothing. We've got the fist festive costume hoodie and the festive costume pants. Finally, they're the same price again. And overall, I actually do think that this is both going to be a pretty successful investment. Um, so straight up, I will recommend investing in them. I think that it's likely that the festive costume set will continue um, and other items will be made for it, boots, gloves, um, and of course the metal gear and the road sign as well. So overall, I do think that you can make money off of the festive costume hoodie and pants. I'd recommend getting the pants over the hoodie just because the hoodie usually sells more. Currently, the hoodie is higher on the top sellers page in comparison and the pants are not on the top sellers page at the moment. So. Overall, $1.35 each standard store price, and they are a standout hoodie and pants set as they are very colorful, and Rust players do like that kind of stuff. So overall, if this set continues, then the clothing stonks. I will recommend investing in the festive costume hoodie and pants off of the Rust Lime store for this week, as I do think they're gonna be pretty juicy stonkers. All right, moving over to the revolver. So we haven't had a revolver skin in quite a long time. Honestly, I don't remember which uh, revolver skin was the last. But this is the Headhunter Revolver going for $2.75 standard store price for weapons and tools. And overall, I actually really like the ADS, the aim down sights, on the revolver um, for this skin. It does look really nice in my opinion. Um, overall, it's actually a pretty simple skin with the red to black fade. Um, but it actually looks really good and it's got all of the edgy skulls that all the Rust players like. It's got a couple of little people and it says kill and it's got an axe. Um, overall, I think that this one will probably sell pretty well, and I also do think that it will have a decent demand once it leaves the Russellham store and goes to the community market. Um, I know that Revies do get skipped over pretty quickly in uh, a Rust wipe, an average Rust wipe, but the cheapest revolver skin on the community market currently is sitting around 4 to $5, and at the moment that does mean that the Hunter Revolver, Headhunter, sorry, Revolver, will most likely go up in value because of that reason. Um, of course, that is going to create a little bit of a higher demand for the Headhunter Revolver, just so it can kind of catch up to the other prices of the other skins. Um, overall, I'm going to recommend investing in the Headhunter Revolver off the Rust Sutton store, and I do think it will be a good investment. All right, moving over to the Black Gold SAR continuation of the Black Gold set. Of course, we've had the MP5, we've had the LR, we've had the uh, AK, and we've had the um, something else. Uh, this is going for $6.85. It is above standard store price by a lot, um, but this is what the black gold set has been. Um, overall, the black gold set has performed not too bad, but I do think you can get the black gold SAR for a little bit cheaper with the buy order on the community market, um, as you've got, oh, the Thompson was the other one, as you've got like the MP5, which is a very meta gun at the moment, um, sitting below the $6.85 or around the $6.85. Of course, if you buy it as an investment off the Rustlem store and you try and sell it for slightly above $6.85, the Steam tax will come in and it will most likely make it so you're losing money. Um, so you do have to keep in mind, obviously the higher the price, you're gonna have to deal with more Steam tax, which is gonna make it a little bit harder for you to make money off of. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Black Gold SAR off the Rustlem store although I do think it'll be a good long-term investment. So I would recommend trying to pick one up um, a little bit cheaper on the community market with the buy order once it comes out um, onto the community market next week. Alrighty, moving over to the Bombshell M39. Now, I was not expecting to see a M39 skin uh, anytime soon. And this is a definitely a good surprise. Of course, this is the Bombshell, Bombshell set, which is the that German guy uh, set. So congrats to him for getting another skin accepted in the game. Of course, that is how Face Punch pays him for his work. $2.75 standard store price for uh, weapons and tools, which is a good thing. Um, the M39 doesn't have a very high demand, of course, because the M39 is a harder gun to get for the average Rust player. Um, it is a military grade gun, so you can't craft it yourself. But there's only a couple of uh, M39 skins on the community market and they're all above this price, of course. They're sitting around uh, five to six dollars plus. 
um, and we are most likely not going to get another M39 skin for a very long time. Uh, at least that is what I'm guessing. So overall, I do think the Bombshell M39 actually will make you money. Um, keep in mind though, where is it currently sitting on the Rossum store? It is second on the top seller, so it is going to get oversaturated, but as a long-term investment, I do still think that Bombshell M39 can make you easy money because of course it needs to catch up to the other M39 skins. I do think the quantity is gonna be quite high, but as I said, a long-term investment is where you're gonna be making your money. So if you can hear the rain, it is now pouring down. Um, all right, moving over to the uh, cheese sheet metal door we'll look at first, going for $2.05. Um, I'm just gonna say it now. It is actually kind of like a standout skin, like if you were running past it in game, you'd probably have a little look at it. It's a cheese door. Um, I do think that something like this could continue. It's very easy to make this a cheese bloody armored door, a cheese garage door, uh, etc. A cheese wooden door. $2.05, standard store price for deployables. Uh, I'm still not really going to recommend investing in that just because sheet metal door skins don't have a very high demand as it's clearly not a glowing deployable. It doesn't have any cutouts. That is currently the meta. Um, and I think it's going to be the meta for the rest of Rust's life. Overall, cheese sheet metal door, not going to recommend investing in this one, although I do think you can make money off of it. So I will recommend trying to uh, get this one for a little bit cheaper on the community market with a buy order, as most sheet metal doors do go up, um, but they are a slower investment. So overall, not going to recommend investing in the after us at store, but you could try and get it for a little bit cheaper on the com market and see how you go with that one. All right, moving over to the spray can sheet metal door going for $2.05. This is of course a continuation of the spray can set. And I don't think the spray can set has been performing overly well, unfortunately. Um, and if this, like all of the graffiti on it, if that actually glowed, then this would be way more stonks than it is. So it is definitely a missed opportunity, but I guess the skin creator just doesn't want to make it glow or doesn't know how to make it glow. I'm not sure um, on why they've made this decision, but overall the spray can sheet metal door, it's going to be pretty much the same as the cheese door. Not going to recommend investing in this one off the rust on a store, even though of course this one is a continued set. Um, unfortunately, the set hasn't been performing well enough for me to recommend investing in this one off the rust on a store. Although if you do want to pick it up as an investment, then try and place a buy order on the community market, try and get it for a little bit cheaper. And then uh, as a long-term investment, it'll probably make you a little bit of money. But honestly, I don't think it's going to make you too much. And that's why I'm not recommending it. I don't think it's going to be worth it. Unfortunately, we did miss a gun, so we're going back to the guns. The Vortex MP5, don't know how I missed this one, going for $2.75. Honestly, uh, MP5 skins are quite a safe investment, so we really only have, uh, what, four MP5 skins that are below $2.75. Um, of course, they are all oversaturated between 151 and uh, 228 quantity on the community market. Um, but they're really not that much lower. Only one is the Sol MP5 is $1.68. I do think its price will eventually go up. Um, then the Glist MP5, $2.41. Burnout is $2.54. And then the Venomous MP5 is $2.73. Um, so overall, I don't think MP5 skins really are a risky investment. Like we've got 32 MP5 skins on the community market. Of course, you do get a decent amount of free MP5 skins from Twitch, but um, I do think that either way, the MP5 is meta, and also we don't have a crazy amount of MP5s yet. I don't think this is really a standout insane MP5 or anything like that, but I do think overall as a long-term investment, the Vortex MP5 will make you money. Um, I also do think that it's probably going to be a continued set. Like it looks like, honestly, no offense to the skin creator, it does look like it's a pretty simple uh, skin. And I do think that it would be pretty easy to, you know, chuck this on another weapon and continue making this set. So overall, $2.75 is good that it's a standard store price. I do think that this one can make you money, so I will recommend investing in the off the rest of them store. If you want to maximize your potential profits, place a buy order, try and get it for a little bit cheaper on the community market. I do think that you probably will be able to get it for a little bit cheaper for a little while. Um, but as a medium to long-term investment, I do think the Vortex MP5 can make you money. So for that reason, I will recommend investing in it. And now we'll move over to the final item of the week. We've got the scientific scrap storage box 
going for $3.45 and this is a continuation of a very popular scientific storage box set. Um, overall, I do think that the scrap box can make you easy money and I do think it's an easy alternative to the comps box and a drop box as well. So I do think that the scrap box, scrap storage box will get used quite often by uh, pretty much every kind of player if they did buy the scientific scrap storage box. Um, and so I do think the demand for it will be a little bit higher in comparison to some of the more niche boxes. $3.45 is what it's going for, which is the standard store price for glowing deployables usually and the standard store price for the scientific storage boxes. Um, overall, I will recommend investing in the scientific scrap storage as I do think it will be a safe investment and pretty much all of these scientific storage boxes have made you money. So overall, I will recommend investing in the scientific scrap storage and now we move over to the cart. All right, guys, this is my cart for this week. So I'm not getting either of the sheet metal doors, not getting the cheese one and I'm not getting the spray can one. So I'm getting two of the Headhunter revolvers, four of the festive costume pants, one of the black gold SARs, three of the festive costume hoodies, two of the scientific scrap, scrap storage boxes, one of the Vortex MP5s and two of the Bombshell M39s. Going to cost me $36.95. No sponsor for this week. So hopefully you guys do check out my Twitch, join my Discord, and like, comment, and subscribe, of course. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And remember, have a skits one. Why? 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 I got it, thank you. <laughs> You're a legend. Remember to subscribe to Almighty oh the King or you don't get any good night kisses. That's a fact.